Mike, about three weeks until the regular season starts. What else do you need to focus on between now and then to make sure you're ready for opening day? Um, you know, it's kind of time when you start playing a little bit longer, getting a couple more at-bats. Um, you know, it's nice to the pitchers start to stretch out a little bit. So, you know, start to see maybe a guy a couple times instead of just once. Um, but, you know, this is just when, you know, you kind of have started to shake the cobwebs off and, and, and really, you know, ramp up the intensity, ramp up the focus, and, uh, and kind of carry that in the season. How have you felt since you've been building yourself up to play more and more innings? You know, it's felt good. Um, you know, it was... Uh, Guys are throwing a lot harder early in spring than they used to, but uh, no, but it's uh, it's been good, you know, to see velocity early and. Um you know, it's, it's been just good to get out there in the outfield and run around and, uh, you know, kind of just check off all those boxes you need to check off and you want to see yourself do a couple times. So it's been good. You mentioned that outfield. There are some guys that are injured in your outfield right now, and Aaron Judge and John Carlos Stanton. Do you feel any added pressure to make sure you are ready to go, knowing that those guys likely will not be opening day? No, not really. Um, you know, in spring training, my job is just to prepare myself to be available to play every single day. So, um, you know, stuff like that doesn't really change the preparation. Um, you know, obviously those guys are, are, are huge parts of our team, so you know, just want them to get healthy and, uh, you know, get back to doing what they do, which is, you know, play really good baseball. Last year you got the most consistent time you've probably had in the big leagues playing. What did you learn about yourself out there? Um, it's just... You know, it, it, it was it was great to kind of get an opportunity to kind of fall into that everyday routine. And, um, you know, you can kind of just start to see, um, you know, you make adjustments a little bit quicker when uh, you have at-bats every day and, you know, kind of see how pitchers and teams and stuff are going to try to, you know, pitch you. And, um, you know, that just kind of gives you a little bit of freedom to, to play your own, you know, brand of baseball, I guess. How do you build off those positive at-bats from a season ago? You just, you know, I, I think you get in trouble sometimes maybe uh, searching for past feelings. So, you know, just try to be mindful of the work that I'm doing and, and do the things that I, you know, think give me the best chance to, you know, have quality at-bats and play good defense. Mike, thanks for the time. Thanks.